It's DIY with Key. What's up y'all? So, we finally have another event day. And as you can see, I'm in my car. It's already like packed to capacity, locked and loaded. And I'm about to put the address in my GPS so we can get going. So, yeah, the, for this event, I'm only doing a backdrop setup. So it's a draped backdrop. I'm putting balloons on it. So it's gonna be really quick. Um, so we should have no issues there. So let me go ahead and put this address in. All right, let's go. I decided to skip the unloading for this video because y'all know what it looks like to unload. And I wanted to go ahead and get into this setup. So now that everything is inside of the venue, first, just take a look at this one wall in the venue, y'all. You can see how beautiful it is just by looking at this one mirror wall. And then originally, I was supposed to do this setup outside because they have a terrace outside. You could kind of see it through the... Um, the mirrors but it's really nice however this was a rainy day so my client opted to move it inside because of the rain and it was still hot outside so the humidity and this party was a, a birthday party for her 80 year old dad so um i went ahead and moved it inside and it still turned out really nice so let's go ahead and talk about this setup for this setup i pulled out my backdrop stand um, I'm going to link this in the description box for y'all. I always link it, but it's a really good heavy duty stand. Um, it's really good for indoor events, but I've used it for several outdoor events as well. And those bases that y'all see at the bottom, those are really heavy. So it's a really good heavy duty stand um, to start off in the event world. Now, I'm doing a draped backdrop. So I'm also going to link the drapes that I purchased because they did come from Amazon. These were some really nice drapes. I, I think I purchased a pack of four and I used all four of them because I wanted that flooded look. And I also wanted that that uh, draped look kind of like what is what is it called? You know how you you put your curtains on and they're not stretched out all the way. They, they have like those little wrinkles crinkles not wrinkles what am i trying to say pleated y'all pleated that's the word i wanted that pleated drape look and then my last drape um i added it to the end of the rod just to cover the black pole on the end and how i did that was i put a zip tie through the like pole pocket of the drape and then of course tied that zip tie and then once i had a loop I'm going to place that loop on top of the black pole and it's going to give you just a more elevated look and you won't see that pole on the end either. Now that the drapes are up, I'm adjusting the rods to put it at the height that I want it to be at. And I think it's self-explanatory, but the other side of the rod did not get drapes because balloons are going to go on that side and it's going to be covered anyway. And now I'm going to go ahead and start adding my base garland. And so y'all know how I add my base garland to anything. Um, I use my 260s, uh, wrap it around the balloons, and then tie it around the back of the pole as well. This is as high as I can reach, but of course the backdrop is going to be taller. So I had to go get my ladder and now I'm going to um, adjust the backdrop to make it as tall as it's going to be for the setup. And then I'm going to do a bunch of up and down on the ladder to connect everything else.
My base is finally secure and now it's time to get my bag of detail balloons to add all of those onto the garland because that's what's going to make it chunky. That's what's going to give it more texture, more dimension. So this bag is what I'm um what I usually store all of my detail balloons and this is a mattress bag. I think I purchased a full size for this time around. Usually I had like a king size, but that was just too big for this job. So Anyway, I prepared a bunch of clusters for the details because I knew I was going to want to make it chunky and make it a little full. So I did, I'm adding clusters of six balloons and then also clusters, wait, was it six? Yeah, I think it was clusters of six balloons and then also clusters of four to like close up gaps and stuff. And if you've been here for a while, you know I'm the 260 girl. So I tied all of my 260s into bracelets put them on my wrist and this is how I connect all of my detail balloons on and also my five inch balloons and everything else it's just so easy for me so if you see a bunch of like great things on my wrist those are the 260s tied like rubber bands and then that's how I'm connecting it I also had to blow up just a few more balloons. I really didn't have to do much, but I did bring like 24 inch balloons and 36 inch balloons. And I usually don't prep those ahead of time for a small event or event that I have enough setup time for because I can just do that at the venue and it saves space in my car. Some of these clusters were too small and I knew that was going to happen. So I'm just adding two extra balloons to the clusters of four so that I can have six because six is what really makes it full and four is really more for you know closing up different holes and things like that Thank mm -hmm. you. 
I'm down to the wire with adding my last little bit of detail balloons. And um, I have one more thing to do before we go. I did let you know early in the video that this is a party for my client's 80 year old father. So the last thing I'm going to do is add the number 80 numbers on the other side, which is why you can see the base right now. But once the number 80 goes in front of it, you won't be able to see it. It's going to clean that up and just make it look really nice. Um, I opted out to not get gold for you. 36 inch number balloons because i i really hate the gold that it comes in so i ordered um new balloons and then i spray painted one side gold so that it can match the chrome gold balloons that i was using it came out really good y'all i only sprayed one um coat of spray paint i probably could have did two but i sprayed one coat um it took like literally seconds to dry and I opted to blow those up when I got to the venue. Now, that was really scary for me because foils and me don't go together because they scare me because they're so easy to pop. Like once you start inflating them and I only ordered exactly what I needed. So I didn't have a backup plan, but it literally I blew them up. They were fine. The bases that I put the foil on, you're going to see that in a minute. But um, I just made um like a mini like you know i don't know even know what it's called but i put four balloons four 11 inch balloons i put four or five inch balloons in between another set of four four um 11 inch balloons and then one more set of five inch four or five inch balloons and then i also added a water balloon weight to the bottom to just make it stay in place because i didn't want it to be moving all around because i knew people would be taking pictures in front of it I did that and then now I'm just blowing up the foil balloons and you'll see the finishing look. I hope you liked it. I love this setup. Everything came out really good. The colors are really pretty and I love the venue. So um, I'll go ahead and stop talking and y'all can watch the rest.